Wow. Well, it's not growing. It's not being addressed. I'm not from here. Where are you from? I'm from Louisiana, and uh, I, I asked to be here. I chose to be here. some kind of code and they uh, old doc will take all our stuff. Well, and, Norma County has come it, here and picked up our cars every time. after we packed up for the day and because it's garbage if it's sitting on the side of the road. So what do you do when you got to go and have none of your stuff? You have to have more stuff. And you know, honestly, problems not going to go away just because you put money into it. You've got to make sure that money is being used properly. You can't just say, I put money into it and let someone else take care of the problem. They're not taking care of the problem. Could you say again about that uh, uh, place to house women? Um, Salvation Army runs a, 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 a shelter they call SAVE. It's, uh, it's a shelter for, emergency shelter for homeless women. Uh, it's where the old kitchen used to, where they used to do the public meal at the Lighthouse Mission on 2nd and Burnside. They get $650 a month for each woman that they house. Most of their food, their uh, products, their uh, hygiene, all those items are donated. Uh, their utilities are really their main out expense. You know, water, electricity, heating. Their building is paid for. They don't pay taxes. They're a nonprofit. Where does that kind of funds go to? If it's, if they haven't built another building to house more women or, or men in, then where is that $650 a month per person going to when they have no outgo? Front? Yeah, it's the same place no, that $500 million from the Red Cross went to help Haitian people after the earthquake. They said they were going to build 6,000 houses. They built six. Where'd that money go to? Exactly. How much of it goes into wage? How much of it goes into this? How much it gets put into other programs that don't have anything to do with cheering the problem of the homeless? No one likes to see this. No one wants to be reminded that it's happening. Nobody wants to live it either. You can't, you can't just throw money at an agency and expect it to freaking get done the way it should. You've got to monitor it and make sure they're spending the money the way you wanted it spent when you gave it to them. You can't just say, here's my money and ignore and, and then wash yourself of any further responsibility of it. I agree. And expect it to go away. Earlier, you said uh, about what homeless people need. Unfortunately, my uh, camera was off, 
I didn't realize it. Could you repeat again what you think homeless people need? Well, I think we need you to should give people out here on the streets uh, 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 chances to do something other than what they have to do now. You know what I'm saying? Open, go on in, invest into a, a, a property that you can facilitate, like this a picnic a field with uh, just uh, things that you can just sign up to do, uh, things that you can participate in, and uh, believe me, they'll come. And they'll I can't stable I believe it. because I don't have a place to sleep at night, to keep my things at night. I have to hustle every day to move my stuff, to protect my stuff, to find a place to sleep that night. And all my day is spent surviving day to day. I can't How? Even though, how can I look for work when I can't worry about where my stuff is at in Florida County to throw up down the back of their truck? Where I'm going to put my stuff at to sleep that night so that I can get up? Where am I going to get dressed and, and together and put my makeup on and wash and shower at 7, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning so I can get out there early enough to put an application? Where do you get to shower and use the bathroom? Is there any place? Twice a week, right here. Yeah, the, 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 the city team does women's showers every afternoon, five days a week, but it's 2.30 to 4.30. Where's that at? On Grand. Uh -huh. But at 2.30 in the afternoon, and I get a shower, and I get dressed, and I get ready, it's kind of hard to go out and put in applications, and, or get to an interview at 2.30 in the afternoon. And what is your name? My name's Joanne. I'm River. Hi, River. Hi. And, and what is your name? Will. If we have a stable, secure place to live and keep our stuff, and we don't have to worry about moving around, finding new places, protecting it, then we can start focusing on education and work and becoming self-sufficient. If we can't be stable, we can't work Thank you very much. If you go to Google Portlandia, if you go to YouTube, oh, you're Portlandia. no, if you go to uh, to YouTube and, and type in uh, Portlandia, homeless in Portlandia, uh, you'll find the video uh, within the next 24 hours. If you, if y'all would give the chance to watch and and just sit back and don't 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 overreact, but react to things that's really a conflict, but not just because someone you see just might be wanting to rest their feet or sit down and kind of just lay back for a minute that's quiet because the places that they want us to be is the opposite of that. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. want us to be away from anything that we can be able to uh, make a, 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 a daily a daily living. Like that. <laughs> you got so that. It is a part of their world too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're not just the criminals and mischiefs of the world. We got good working class people. They should open and start up, like I'm saying, a, a, a place to where these the guys that and women that's healthy enough and fit enough to go and, and, and rebuild. And you know what I'm saying? Let's build little communities and get these the people that's needing work and homeless working to build each one of our homes. And then they can live in these homes and they help build the next home. This 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 rebuild. I agree with you. Put us back on our feet. To, the solution to homelessness is stability. If we can be stable, then we can start focusing on things that thank you. to move our stuff, to find a new place, to protect our stuff, to get clean, 
to, to take a bath. I mean, we work, walk, move. We're constantly, constantly working and struggling and fighting, canning, anything we can to try to stay legal. It's when you get thrust down so often, so long, so from every time you try to get stable, something happens to tear it back down because you're not welcome there, then, yeah. You give up and you start turning to something that keeps you from having to face the reality that nobody wants you as part of their society because you fell upon a bad time and you can't get out of the situation because you can't be stable. Thank you very much.